Hello! Hello, everybody. I'm slightly early today. Yeah. Welcome to the Twisted Beanstalk. Ugh, God, why am I... Ugh, it's cold when I got up, and now, of course, I'm, like, sweltering. And I burnt my finger. I was trying to put in eyeballs, and I didn't realize, like, how actually how hot the glass eye was. You would think I would learn from reboarding all these years, but apparently I never learn. So there's that. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Why does that not go away? Whew. I literally am like just starting, um, just starting to do some painting. So um, let me see. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Hello, hello. How is everybody? Hanging in there? What a gong show the world is right now, hey? <laughs> oh, my finger really hurts. Darn it. Um, hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Um, hmm, let's see. Okay. Mad, mad world. Yeah. Oof. Um, it is insane. Um, so we are, uh, in Washington state. So, uh, but we have been kind of, hello, we've been, uh, kind of self quarantining, teening, quarantining, quarantined. <laughs> uh, anyway, being in her work clothes. Yeah, I know tanks in California. Yeah, it's okay. So hello. Hi, Carol. Um, so I know that the there are some videos of tanks on Facebook, but just a warning, some of them are for from like a few years ago. So depends on like what one you're watching. But the ones that have been circulating on Facebook was from <laughs> I burn myself was from a while ago but um yeah so we're in washington state uh so we have just been home yes they are old pictures yeah okay so there you go um yeah so there are videos that are circulating and pictures that are circulating that are actually not specifically this time so was he there uh, i don't think he's been there yet did you leave it Okay. Just put them both in one of the... The smaller ones? The medium one. Okay. Yeah, because then he'll, cause he'll open that up and see it and take it. Oh, I burnt my finger. On the eyeball. There's my husband. Well, there's the bottom half of him. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... Anywho, anywho, let's see, let's see here. Uh, ho yeah, holding up. How are you guys holding up? So like I said, we are just staying home. Uh, the schools, it's been really cool out here. They have lunches for the kids every day that you can go and pick up in Sudden Valley. So uh, it's been, that part has been good and easy. Um, Lots of children at home. I did my home check yesterday. Uh, everything went good. I handed in all my work, my all my paperwork. Uh, so that's done. And a lot of things are changing like crazy. Like they, they're doing everything virtually. Like all the, even like, I think the, when the workers have to come in and check the home and stuff like that. But so the licensor came over and uh, for fostering and everything is done. So now we just wait. And it's so sad because there's kids that, <clears throat> excuse me, there's kids that uh, are there. Yeah, like people don't want to take in children right now because they're afraid that they're going to bring them this virus. And so it's just like piling up. It's insane, you guys. I don't want to be such a downer. God, Bean. Whoa. You just get on here and be like, <gasps> of all terribleness. <laughs> anyway, so I am doing some more painting. 
on this guy. So I gave it eyeballs. How crazy are those, right? Oh, I love them. Working with keeping safe. Grandson's work has stopped, but we are good, Julie. Thanks. Yep, us too. The mayor, the mayor, hi. Um, just, uh, yeah, announced that it's like mand mandatory quarantine or whatever. So just for the record, we're not going to starve over here. I just poked myself in the face, my thumb. Just thought I'd point that out too. Um, we have so many deer here. Like I'm just saying that we're not allowed to hunt the deer here, but I will straight up hunt those deers as soon as we start starving. <laughs> right? God, there's so many. There are so many. I I found one on the side of the street one day. It was hit, and I didn't want to leave it there to cause, like, another accident. So then I picked it up, and I put it in my truck, and I took it to the fire hall. And they're like, I was like, yeah, I have a deer in my truck. And they're like, you have a deer in your truck? And I'm like, yes. Somebody hit it, and they left it on the road at the at, on the pass, and I it was getting dark, and I didn't want to cause another accident. Yeah. Oh, you are? Yay! Yeah, I am too today. Woohoo! Uh, I can't, I really can't wait to get the colors you have. Um, yeah, they're a lot of fun. One, one thing that I did notice though, it, venison, <laughs> yummy. Um, this particular one, the unicorn one, for some reason on the website, it looks very blue in the photo, but as you can see, it's not as blue and it's like super, keeps on, okay, focus. Okay, well anyways, I don't know why I have to do this every single time and every time it's a fail. <laughs> It's like, ar, ar. Nice double chin, Bean. Oh man, I feel any sorry for anybody that lives lives in the hospital. That lives in the hospital. Them too. <laughs> but yeah, so this one looks really blue in the photo, but it's actually not very blue in person. So it's super nice. Um, so I have been working on the Swan, and I was also working on the Ethan kit just started up on this one again. This one was actually going to be for my content. <laughs> that looks, that looks really creepy. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just <sighs> giving a baby a headlock. <laughs> wow. Sorry. I didn't mean to manhandle you there, but this is the Ethan kit. This is the one that I was going to put in the Rose contest. And I just glued in his eyes because for some reason I should have just put them in when it was like heated instead of like doing it the backwards. But you know me, I like doing things backwards. Yeah, so there's Ethan. That was going to be a contest baby. So now there is no contest because there's no rose show. So I guess now I could just paint it in front of you guys. Let's see. Fab job, Julie, keeping our hospitals going. Yeah, thank God for that for people in the home. Really? <sighs> Give me your toy. Give me your squeaky. Come here. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough. Okay, let me add a little bit of paint thinner in these guys. Okay. Okay. I really love this blue. It's very purty. It's very purty. Yes, you are. You're very purty. <laughs> yes, I mix them with the same paintbrush. I made it go a little more purple. That's okay though. Um, so let's see. I'm just gonna keep it going uh today. And people that get bored, you can stop watching me here whatever but otherwise I am going to be painting now for a couple hours um hopefully hopefully everything goes good and I'll be continuously painting so I thought that I might as well just keep the camera running 
I can't believe we're on for 10 minutes already. What the heck? Bean, get to work. Okay. So this little, this little, uh, Kermy, Kermy Kent here, Kermy, what's well, actually, uh, I don't know. It's abbreviated. Okay. I make up words and now it's called a Kermy. There you go. Here, you guys, you guys can kiss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I am going to add a little bit of this reborn <laughs> just kidding not reborn uh fantasy fx enchanted magenta so purpley and pretty i'm gonna add a little bit of this in here <gasps> boundary what do you got <laughs> My dog's interrupting me. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Yeah, I need to do my hair, but I haven't been able to because I ran out of my blue and I can't go and buy it. So I'm like, well, that's just great. Okay. Ooh, ooh la la. Ooh la la. I'm not playing with you anymore. Keep on running off with it, cheater. I was almost thinking that um I was almost thinking. I was I was almost thinking. It's true. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes every so often I sometimes think. <laughs> not that often though. Anyway, um I was thinking it might be kind of cool to have like to use like a dark, almost black uh, color for the, oh, whoa, whoa, Nelly, get all excited there, for, our, for the creases, like wouldn't that be super dramatic if I used black in the creases, right? That'd be kind of interesting. But I am gonna make it like a pinky purple-ish, <laughs> pinky purple-ish. Pinky purplicious, I mean. The kissing badger quote well, reminds me of a joke. What's the sexiest farm animals? Brown chicken, brown cow. Brown chicken, brown. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my God. That's good. That's funny. I like it. Okay. So. <clears throat> okay, that's not working. It's like stuck to the ground. Oh well. Okay. Let me try. Is there a way to stop my chair from rolling? Because I'm always like, Rrr. it's like my, my exercise, I guess. Oh, I can't find it. Screw it. Okay. So let's start on this little baby. And I think I'm going to, I almost want to do the, mm, I'll do the mottling first. Yeah. 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 Can't be. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, ah! I'll just throw my brush at myself too. I gave it a little pink toes, so I'm just making those pinker, right? A little pinker for the stinker. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah, I feel bad for the healthcare workers right now. And here I am just painting away in my studio. Ooh. Oh man, that looks really, that looks really cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, just kidding, this needs more, a little more thinner in it. Oh, I noticed that a lot of people when they paint or like people when artists like yeah when artists are painting <laughs> I notice that they keep their colors in a jar like it's the same color like over and over I don't know how that's like what's that like <laughs> oh man I worry about myself sometimes anywho yeah it's like the same I guess because 
once they get that shade that they like, they just continuously use it, maybe? What do you think? Is that it? Did I guess it? Did I guess their secret? Because I mix my colors every single time. I Unless it's like this one where I just re-add thinner to it, but... For the most part, I'm continuously changing. I just had an idea. That's kind of boring. What's kind of, oh, for the colors, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, I don't judge other people and like their, you know, painting techniques and stuff like that. But um, I did notice that and I was like, hmm, I wonder if like I could do that. Probably not. Yep, they keep mixing the same shades. I like watching your videos, drama free. It's great. Yay. Thank you. I've been really enjoying doing lives. I really have. I'm just like, I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything. And I've been, one of my favorite things is going and seeing Dream, my horse. And I can't even see him right now either. And so, I don't know. I just really like connecting with you guys. Like, it's just, I just like it. I just like it. I just like it, okay? <laughs> oh, snap. Wow, look at that. Oh, here, let me let me show you. How cool is that? It actually adds like a little bit of a, like a shimmer. I like it. I'll let that dry a little bit before I add the, um, the let's see, I'm gonna move this one. This is another one I'm gonna be working on little fairy so cute this was gifted to me shauna climber 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 i pronounce names wrong all the time so <laughs> i don't know what those think i don't know what those children are doing out there but it sounds like they're having fun doing something uh let's see forget <laughs> i forget already oh yeah about the shades yeah, so I suppose I don't I don't know if I could do that. I see some using lime green a lot now in mottling. The green, it's because if you make it too pink or too red, you can put green on top of it and it's going to tone down that it'll tone down the the red and the pink. So sometimes if they're painting and then they're like, "Oh, that's way too pink to for like a realistic looking doll then you can just do a green wash or do green mottling and it'll totally tone that tone that color down i love when artists can make that really pale like really pale like it's hard it's like it's like pale, but it's really realistic and almost like translucent. I really love that for realistic, the ones that do realistic babies. Oh, I think it's so beautiful. I can't do that. I don't know why, I just can't, I just can't. <laughs> oh, just kidding. No, I mean, I can't, I'm not kidding about that, but it's, uh, I'm not really complaining at the same time either because I really love making fantasy babies. I have all these really wicked outfits that I can't even wear right now too for my birthday. Oh well. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go over with this the pinker mottling even though it's a fantasy baby and it's going to be pretty dramatic at the end i'm just kind of building up the the color i bake my dolls a lot uh which is another thing because if you bake more you're going to see more color on it so basically if you're doing thin washes and you're so say you paint you paint it like mottling and then you set it to dry and then you come back and then you do more and then you dry and then you come back and you do more. Uh, really what you're doing is you're, you're technically once it, if it's not baked, you're, you're kind of combining those colors. So it's okay to do like pink, dry, pink, dry. If it's like really thin, a really thin layer, but 
which is more, I guess, realistic looking, but when you want to have a dramatic effect, an end result, then it's important to bake it because you're going to cure the paint and then you add color on top of it. So it's going to be more dramatic. And now if I were to take if I were to do this pink and then dry it and then come back and say do a blue, chances are it's going to combine in color and so then you're going to get a purple. So that's why I bake it a lot. I don't think I used to do that. Maybe I did. I don't know. I don't remember. But this pink looks good on this vinyl. It's nice vinyl too. Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to give you guys tips is uh he's a very beautiful horse. He is. I love him. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. I miss him but they're elderly over there and have health issues and there's no way I'd ever risk um, their health, so. Yeah, Cha. That's why also when I'm mixing my colors, I can, it's easy for me to formulate. So I know, like for example, if I were to put, if I wanted to brighten it up and say I put, no first, okay. So say I put this blue on it, right? And then it's gonna, and then I dry it and then I wanna brighten it up. So then like I put a yellow wash over it, it's gonna go green. So it's important to always remember your formulas. And I can't remember if other Reborns artists do that or not. Um, if they, I don't know. I, I mean, they do a lot of washes, like very thin wash color. I can't do that. It's just not, I don't know. I just don't, I just don't argue. You need formulas. <laughs> well, I think some people, they paint from dark to light or light to dark some some paint light to dark or dark to light like it's opposite so it depends on I guess the outcome I paint dark to light that's the way that I do it but not like really really dark but usually the shading because the thing is is if you start with shading and you put a uh, like, um, again, for example, how I said I wanted to do the crease, I was thinking about doing the creases black, which would be really cool, like super dark shading. Hey, Jen, how are you? God, I haven't, I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. Um, but yeah, so if you were to put shading on your, on a, the reborn, say on an earlier step, you don't have to worry about changing that color because it's dark already. So regardless of what color you put over it, it's, and because it's black, it's gonna, it's just gonna stay black. And so you're not risking, you know, putting a wash on and it going green or gray or anything like that because it's dark. So, but then if you use something like a red and you put a blue wash over, well, then it's gonna go um, purple. So sorry if I just confused everybody. <laughs> I apologize for that, but that's just what I do. I confuse people. Like this one is starting to go gray and that's because I put blue and then I put the blue and then the, the pink and it, I didn't bake it in between. So it combined and it went to gray, but that's okay because I know, I know how to correct it. And plus the type of baby that I'm making, it's it's okay. Let's see, we got two arms, two legs. That's a good start, right? <laughs> These two are just still kissing over here. Okay. M's gems. 
M's Gems. I like it. Gosh, how long do you think this thing is going to go on for? That's what I want to know. These rolls, though. <laughs> how are you today? I think it's so important to stay positive for people and let them have that outlet compared to people who are just creating more mass hysteria and, uh, you know, like, having a, having a fun reborn channel to having just pure crazy-ness, <laughs> crazy-ness on it, you know? like people don't need do, people don't need more of that they're th they go to your channel for a reason and then when you're switching that up especially when children are involved make sure you stir your paint too then I think it's just such a sellout move it's like those you know when if people are watching you and they're enjoying your videos and then you decide to just like oh I have I have to um uh like change what is it like when you oh, what's the word forget what the word is when you when you're trying to survive i guess on youtube still and you need i guess certain tags or certain titles or certain content to to get those views it's like but then you're selling out all your subscribers over the years because of it. I think that's so sad. I got fat rolls. Like, ah! Right? Like, this is so funny. I was dying laughing last time. Like, looking at this back. <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm just like, whoa. Whoa. Call you donut. <laughs> Oh man, okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and I'm gonna work on the face. Let me see. Okay. I'll do the pink first. Mm, let me check some of the <laughs> is there one of your <laughs> oh yeah I think one is in her bed yeah one sleeping and then the other one is in the living room with the kids probably um yeah I put tink together and I sent her off she's sold and uh yeah but I haven't posted pictures yet because I just was really busy because I had the big, the home check and then we had tons of paperwork that we had to do. And I was exhausted. It, it was for like, it took like four or five hours or something, but we got up earlier and then made sure that everything was A-OK. -okay. Yeah, so I was just like, oh my God, I'm so glad. I don't know how he does that for work. There's a reborn sculptor that is doing a Sharpe hybrid baby. It's really wrinkly and amazing. Oh good, haven't missed Tink. How did you, um, it went good. Um, I, th I think you're thinking of Cindy, or no, wait. Oh, wait, hold on. It's really, ah. Uh, Hmm. Actually, I don't think I know what you're, what sculpt you're talking about. I was thinking it was Cindy Musgrove because she was just working on like a puppy one that's super cute. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. 
hair. Gonna start getting fancy, fancy with this little one. Excuse me while I scratch my back with my paintbrush. Yeah, my home check went awesome. So we're just waiting now, waiting for a baby. Oh, okay, okay there. See, kissing's good for you. You're behaving and everything. So now I'm gonna get a little more creative. So let me put you down a little bit so you can see my colors and my rack. <laughs> oh wait, it's always in the view, always. How is it? How is it always in the view? Oh, it just, it just is being, okay, it is. Um, so, hi, oh, it's a hybrid cow baby. Oh my God, that would be so cute. I freaking love cows. Oh, I wish I had one. Oh, okay, so this one. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. This one over here looks like it might want to have creative colors in it. Um. Face is just so different. Okay. Look at that, I made a Z. How creative. Okay. So I'm going to, let's see. Okay, so I was just mapping it, mapping it in my head. Maybe I will put you up a little bit so I can at least read comments if I need to. Okay, so get a smaller brush. And so if you look at my paint, I like when it when the thinner settles in the center and then there's paint on the outside, if I want it more of like a I need a smaller brush. Let's use this one. Do you use farmer neighbors in case you get a baby cow? Uh, I wish. No, he, he, well, here we can't have farm animals because I'm in like a protected wildlife area. Which is probably good because I would literally have so many. Um, anyway, so when I was, so I like to take the paint around the side because it will go a little bit darker instead of like mixing it and it being really thin. So when I'm doing details, I'll take the, the darker color and I'm just going to be shading again. I love shading.
You're so happy today. Look at you with your grin. Whew, man, I am starting to get hot. I'm so hot. I don't know what to do. Oh, let's use this one. So basically what I'm doing is I'm pulling the blue into the yellow. So that's how that's how I'm shading. It it was quite dark at first, but once you put a couple colors and then you pull it into each other, it'll blend it. I haven't decided on what color I want the nose though. <laughs> Hello to Scotland. How are you doing? I apologize if I missed people's uh, comments, but when I put the paint on to start blending it, I have to be quick. Otherwise, it'll, I mean, it'll dry and I, I can still fix it, but it's easier when you do it right away. How are you guys doing in Scotland? Curious. Boy, he's got lots of wrinkles right here. I feel like this doll is gonna have to have a lot of shading just because, oh, just because of all the wrinkles. 
uh, spelling for someone who are selling. Um, so just staying home. Love you. Aw. Oof. My shoulder just cracked. Um, Kermun, Ker, no, it, is it Kermunchkins? Ker, Kermuchin? I don't know. It's a, cur, it's a, what did I call it earlier? A Kermi? <laughs> Yo, yo. They just started watching this show, like binge watching it like every day. So basically I'm setting down color right now. And once I start, once it's a lot darker or where I feel like it's at a color where I want to start adding, how's my jaw? Um, it, it was hurting yesterday but for the most part it's feeling so much better like at like I said at first it was oh my gosh it was awful it's just like what the heck I've been doing like exercises where you like hold the joint and like you stretch it <clears throat> hello hey girl hey Just adding some shading. <laughs> what a little stinker. Like, look at that face, right? It's like, mm. I don't want to play with you. You ran off earlier. You go find someone else to play with. <laughs> oh, he's gonna, she's probably going to lay in bed with Twyla. I don't know why they love that dog bed so much, but they do. But anyways, yeah, so when I start getting it to be darker, I'll start adding more of the fantasy FX because I want it to stand out, like really, really, really stand out. It looks amazing. When you paint it and then you put it on top, it's like, whoa. Uh, looks so amazing. It's giving me inspiration for the troll I'm making. Yay! There you go. There you go. Just adding a little bit of the pink. Although I did put the enchanted pink in this part, but the other colors like I really want to use the mermaid green so in spots where I have blue like in the ears and stuff I'll probably add that after the face always takes the longest it's pretty normal I mean for me it does I don't know for other people but Hmm, what color nose do I want you to have? Let's see.
need like a little mop. I don't know where my little mop brushes went. Like, what the heck? Did somebody come in here and eat them? Probably. This one's all... Been sitting for a little while. It's a little fuzzy. It's okay, I'm gonna fix it. I am a paintbrush doctor over here. Okay, going to add, this is the fun part because it's starting to, his personality is coming out. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just going to say. This part is really fun for me. Um, and then that's why I like concentrate a little bit more because it's, I don't know, it's fun. I, I really love when they start getting the color on and then it's like, oh, hello there. Hello. Starting to see it. Whew. I am getting hot now. It's just so much work. <laughs> it's just so much exercise and <laughs> continuous exercise. <laughs> And then I'll go back to the legs. <laughs> this doll is freaking funny. put this one right here to dry a little bit and then I'm gonna add let's see <laughs> it's freaking back though Sometimes when I want to make the mottling not as drastic, even so it was 
it was drying there and so you can just pick up a sponge and sponge it just a little bit so it's gonna still be extreme but it's just gonna be more blended this sponge I got at the dollar store <clears throat> and I love it it's like I don't know the material is amazing Yeah, because I don't want it too, too mo mottled, mottling. I mean, I do, but I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's, yeah. Okay. So let me... Look at this guy here. The green is going to be toned down. I'm basically just prepping this. This green isn't going to stay or like the blue is not going to stay that blue because I'm going to be going over it with other colors. So it doesn't necessarily have to match up with this because um, the eyes I'm going to put uh, make them a lot darker with the unicorn with this one and so yeah I guess just keep that in mind because I I know that it's like oh well how come that has green on it and this doesn't but it's because the end result it's because of I've already mapped out what I want as far as the end result goes um let's see nice and big never seen squares ones before I have not seen that at all. I need to go to the dollar store. So these are like the beauty blenders, except for they're a different material. So they, I don't know. I love it though. And it does, like it stays good. These ones, I know these square ones. <coughs> Excuse me. Bongi. Okay. Um. Let me put, okay, so I am going to put a brighter yellow. Let's use this one. dog and her squeaky like she loves those squeakies so much I really love the pattern let's see bean where did you get the square sponges um I I got them from this store called Burlington which is a Every time I turn this doll around, I laugh at its back. Um, it, from Burlington, which is a like a discount store, and I got them a long time ago. And what I've noticed is I got them recently, but it's not the... See? <clears throat> but I got one recently, and if you look, it swells up more. Like, for some reason, this material is not the same as the other one. Same with these. It's a different different kind but I do love this like I love the, using these squares it makes my job so much easier I really love the pattern that they make if I had the package still I would show you but I do not but I know that I got them from Burlington Oh man, it's back though. <laughs> Sorry. 
I just can't. I just, every time I look at it, it just makes me laugh. Okay, so this part is gonna be really important to bake because I've used blue, pink, and yellow. So if I continue to paint on it, it's gonna go really, really muddy. And you don't want that. So as soon as as soon as you put the colors down, like I have the um, blue, pink, yellow on top, you wanna bake it and then start again of like whatever color you wanna add. So I'll let that dry. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna add some yellow on top of the hands. I think that'll look good. With the sponge. Let me see if I can find that bag really quick. Let's see if I have one. I have lots of bodies. Uh, does not look like I have the bag. Um, God, what was it called? Darn it. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely don't have the bag, so I apologize, but... I do like those square ones. I do. I can't find them, and that's why I keep all mine too. I see a lot of your videos at oh, bleh, bleh, Instagram photos, and you make me jelly that you live in Washington look so beautiful and peaceful. It is very beautiful. I love it. Oh, here, let me see if I can. Wait, are you able to? There. Big, huge trees. Uh, there. Oh, she didn't even hear you. <laughs> She's a little delayed today. Nice guard dog she is. Let's see, does your squirrel still come around? No, I kicked her out. <laughs> I know that sounds awful, but I was like, it is time for you to leave the nest. Cause you know, I just wanted her to be free. It's so, it's so nice around here. Like it's so beautiful and there's huge trees and um, I had my window open for a while and then she would like climb up and like come into my window. And then like sometimes I'd come in and I, or sometimes I'd be outside, I'd be calling her and I was like, oh, okay, finally, I guess she like took off. And then I come in my studio and she's just like, like up on my shelf. And I'm like, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna end this right now. And I saw her for a long time, honestly. She, li she lived in the tree right by my deck. So I saw her for a really long time. But here are the squirrels, they like hibernate, right? I wanna see what it'll look like if I put yellow on here. Yeah, we have lots and lots of squirrels around here. She was just a little red squirrel. So she wasn't, she wasn't one of those big ones. Although, I mean, those ones are so beautiful. It would have been awesome to have one of those too, but they're mean. Squirrels are not friendly, except for people that have them might say, oh yeah, they're friendly. Mine's friendly. Maybe if you raise them in captivity, but even still, they're pretty a-hole-ish. <laughs> oh man, I haven't, wow. That was crazy. I never, ever experienced anything in my life like that before. I, I was like, okay, it's time for this squirrel to go because she used to just sleep in my 
my hoodie, like the hood. And then she started kind of like crawling out and like running all over my body. And so then I thought, okay, well maybe if I put her like way in the back, she'll be, she'll be okay. She'll like climb up a tree and survive. <laughs> and, and, uh, but I was still kind of like worried about her too at the same time, but it's like, she's a wild animal. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, like a, not that long. I think it took like maybe a day like the next day it was raining and then I was like, oh, and I was like, hmm. And I turn, I'm like painting and I turn and I see this like thing at the window and I'm like, what the F? So I go out there, added a little bit of yellow on the fingers. Um, so I go out there and can you believe she made it from all the way in the back Around, down around my house and was on my front porch at the window. I was like, what? And so I like, I was like, oh my God, like I had no idea that could happen. And so I just bent down, I went like that. And then she like jumped on my hand and like ran up my shirt and went back into my head. <laughs> I couldn't even, I was like, oh my God, whoa. Like I was so impressed that that happened. I was like, I had no idea that would happen. It's pretty crazy, but when I think about it, I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? They hibernate. Whoa. They, uh, yeah, they hibernate, right? And so they hide nuts and know where they hide them all the time. So you would think that they do have heightened senses for finding their way. I couldn't even, like, can you imagine? And she was, I mean, she, when she was really ready to go, I, I mean, I feel like at that point, she probably wasn't ready to go because when she was older, she was so much more bushier and way faster. Like she was just, it was awesome. I loved having her. I was like, oh man, I always wanted a squirrel. But like I said, it wasn't fair to keep her out of the four. I mean, we're forested everywhere and it just wasn't fair to her. So I was like, I'll open the window and she'll have like her, you know, we'll put out nets and stuff for her, but she has to learn how to not live in captivity. It's just, yeah, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to do that to an animal that's supposed to be wild and free, but it was amazing. <laughs> I loved, I loved having her there. I just put some yellow on the tips of the fingers. <laughs> Cause I think that I want those pretty bright. I couldn't believe how many nuts though, how many nuts she took and hid. It's very impressive actually. Yeah, my raccoons too, they never came back either. They probably will in spring. We're, we're still at sort of spring here. Like all the birds are out now singing and stuff like that, but lots of deer. But you know, they're wild animals, so you gotta treat them like wild animals. Like if they don't have to be in captivity, then they don't, they don't need to be. It's not like I was like, okay, go. And I just shoved her out the door. Well, except for the first time I did <laughs> put her in the forest. I was like, okay, here, find your way, little squirrel. And then she's like, actually, no, you're my mom. These toes are textured. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna make them really sparkly with a fantasy, the hollow one. It's so important too that you have good quality, uh, good quality paints and product because you don't want to be like, oh, I'm gonna put this in here and then bake it. You know, you have to be like, you have to be really careful of what you're putting on your doll. Hey Maverick, can you get me the phone charger please? <laughs> Why? My phone's gonna die. <laughs> okay, can you get it? 
it for me, please? Oh, her squeaky fell by Twyla. She won't get her. Wait, where is it? Um, I think it's upstairs. Look on the kitchen counter first. Because it might possibly be there. Possibly. Okay. Oh, she got another squeaky. <laughs> she went and found another one. It's not in the kitchen table. Okay, go look. Um, I think it might be in maybe in my bedroom. Okay. Unless someone took it, which is probably what happened. I like, I actually, I really like the, these toes are just so funny. I haven't seen anything like that where they're like furry looking. <coughs> they're like textured. I think McPherson's is also having free shipping right now. I seen, <clears throat> excuse me, I seen a, um, I seen something that, that said that. Okay, so there's the yellow. And so yeah, that I definitely want to bake. Okay, I'm gonna bake it. Actually, you know what? I need to paint the nose because I didn't even paint the nose. What was I thinking? Oh yeah, because I didn't know what color. Hmm. I didn't know what color I wanted to use it. I'll probably use. I didn't see it. Oh. Ask your sister. My phone's gonna die, I have to plug it in. I have like, I think it said better gave it a colorful nose we had a squirrel in our birdhouse after hurricane irma about three days <laughs> i'm in lockdown are you able to get out um no we are mandatory uh shelter in place in uh, i'm in bellingham washington my biggest concern is that when this was all going on we were by uh the, we're like surrounded by reservations and we're really close to the Lummi reservation which it has like a huge casino and lots of Canadians go there lots and lots America I mean obviously like Americans but a lot of Canadians when they want to go somewhere usually they come across and go to the Lummi or the Skagit casino and they only because they didn't the government didn't have jurisdiction over it they it wasn't closing and it just closed like I want to say last week I think it was maybe last week. And then I saw, I saw um, <clears throat> a notice saying that there was like four cases from, that were, that are positive from the Lummi Clinic, which means that it's there. And it's so crazy because I think to myself, like this was last week. 
Hey, Jordan. Jordan? Hi, Jordan. I'm just painting a little Kermie over here. Uh, yeah, so I was like, what the heck? So now I'm, it's sad because I don't know if they all came here and then went back and now you're going to start seeing more people. But yeah, so they finally closed it. It was like, it was like two weeks after too. I was like, how? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to bake this doll. And as you can see, I kind of do it backwards because a lot of people would have done the uh, the the creases already, but I, I do creases sort of in the beginning, but then I do them again more towards the end. Okay, I'll be right back. I don't know. I don't think so. My son just said he wants the quarantine to end so he can go get chicken wings. <laughs> well, well then, Phoenix.
Sorry, I just totally abandoned you guys to get a drink. Beanie! I need the phone charger. Chop, chop, little one. Oh. 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 Just the Are you going to make candy oranges today? <laughs> it's actually really easy. jump rope with this charger okay we are doing good here you guys I got my phone charger strip down a little bit <laughs> I did too I was like Bleh. Got an Italian soda, which is my favorite. When I run out, I'm going to cry. <laughs> uh, my goodness, that is... Tail. Where do you find your onesies? There, so, uh, I got them off eBay, but I did buy one just recently. Whoa, it is like super windy all of a sudden. Um, off eBay. This one I got from Happy Mail though. And then I had a new one that I just bought off Etsy and it's totally wicked. Like it had, that's the one that has like the unicorns like pooping everywhere. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to work on Ethan. And I'm going to put a little bit of Bright yellow, I think we're just gonna go for it. Gonna go for it right now, you guys. This yellow though. Like I said, this was gonna be a contest, baby. It's one that I've never made before. So I'm just kind of making it up along the way of how I want it to look. Is he yellow? I like it. Um, <laughs> oh, I was going to say something, but I actually, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> Anyway, can't wait to have a baby. <laughs> I know, it's like super bright.
Why must you play with your squeaky in here? There's people out there that'll play with you. Okay, I'll let that dry a little bit. Mmm. <sighs> Green apple is delicious. Yeah, and then there's another doll that I want to make that is also going to be for Rose. Um, will you have to stop painting when you get babies because of baking? Um... Oh, we have like a ventilate, like a ventilation system, um, f specifically like, so we don't get sick. It like pushes out the air. Um, but the, and so as far as like that goes, the reason why I wouldn't paint as much is just because I would be caring for them. So Uh, but, you know, newborn babies, they sleep a lot. But now with kids being out of school, it's, I don't know how they do it. He had so much paperwork, or yeah, so much paperwork. I was like, how do you even, because he, um, he's the licensor that came over, and so he has to put everything in the report and like write it all up and like do this huge, it's called a home study. And there's so much paperwork. I'm like, how do you do this? And then, but he said that it's like all fi in files and organized and, but it's a lot, like I, just like, I couldn't do that. Oh, my bones are aching a little bit today. She has two squeakies. spilling my drink she loves squeakies <laughs> she really does most of the time she just destroys them instantly but those ones are from Walmart and they they're like indestructible I swear uh, yeah so the whole like school thing kind of interrupts I mean for the obvious reasons, normally, the kid's not going to school, but also for the, for the system, because a lot of them work, the kids go to school, except for I do things much different, because I work from home, and I take older, or younger kids anyway, so... Yeah, so there's another kit that I wanted to start, my which is was supposed to be for like a rose contest baby as well, but I think I'm still going to make it. And that kit was actually also gifted to me, so I'm super excited to start on that one. Eventually, first I have to and I don't even know what's going to happen with the market. Like, do you think when I like, I don't even know if these are going to sell when I <laughs> when I list them. Maybe I'll, I'll just have, like, 50 babies sitting here. Just never know. Yeah, 
Yeah, all our parks are closed and like down by the marina and like the dog park everywhere. It's you you can get fined right now if you are out. I think you can like go for a walk and stay away from you know, have your social distancing, but now I think they upped it. Cuz over here we have a whole bunch of trails, like really beautiful trails that people come from all over to go on them. But but now you see tons of cars. I'm just like, why can't they listen? Like, what the hell? Jerks. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay. glued in the eye so every time I hold it I keep on getting glue on my finger Ugh, you naughty little baby I think it'll come back um, let's see, dang, especially during something like it's gonna be a super stressful job. Yeah, so basically that's exactly it. <laughs> um, ho hello to Denmark. How are you doing all the way there in Denmark? You hanging in there? I haven't even really watched the news today. You know, the biggest thing that kind of confuses me about that ship that docked in LA and New York, how are they going to populate that with nurses and doctors if there isn't enough to begin with? That's what, that's what I want to know. <laughs> this kid is pretty freaking adorable. Get him, Phoenix. Go get him.
Hmm. Oh, by military. That makes sense. Ugh. Itchy. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Because I was like, it's so big. Like, how are they going to, like, take care of that if the medical system is already just totally overwhelmed? So I want pink on the... Retired military, so it was an easy answer. Ah. Oh. Oh, I forgot that she sent me those. Okay, yeah, I was wondering. I was like, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh. Darn it, I know that I have a bright. That's blue. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I think I see it. It's hiding. It's hiding right behind my paint thinner. Does this one have, mm, let me see. It does. Okay, so let's see. Blue pearl. That one has enchanted magenta. That's a nice pink. So I just, uh, this is the pink that I'm using. Slightly lighter than the other one. So I still want it to have rosy cheeks. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Probably missed one of the other comments. <laughs> My husband is ex-military. I get worried. Or a veteran, whatever. <laughs> this pink though. Right? It really gave it a little bit of a spark. bit of the fantasy mermaid green. Ooh, so burny. I've not used this. Oh, I need to stir it. 
when you stir it, it just makes it, it's, I don't know, it just like makes it amazing. It just gets everything all, all combined. Sometimes you just gotta give it a little mixeroo. Um, I'm worried a little. The president signed an order to recall retired military members. Oh, see, that's that's what I'm like. Yeah, paints I got last fantasy class. They are still good. Oh, the paints last forever. I swear. Look how amazing that green is. That's going on though. I have paints from like when I first started <laughs> painting. They last so long. my goodness you guys probably like you don't I haven't said what kind of doll I'm making or what kind of baby I'm making but if you knew what it was you would be like okay I get I get why it's so bright Yeah, you and your mommy and your daddy made such a cute little baby. Look at, now I get to paint you. You're just a special one. Is this a, oh, Cassie Brace. My goodness. <laughs> I wonder if you can see it better with well, what a what a difference when the light isn't on it. I was hoping that maybe you could see a little bit better. It's so much darker. It is pretty dark out here too though.
Hmm. Not crazy about that color on the lips. <laughs> Super shimmery. put There we go. I think these paints look best when they're on top of a color instead of like taking some and putting in thinner and doing layers of it, which you can do as well if you wanted the shimmer all over it. But um, I am finding that if you want really drastic color, the uh, like the green and the pink, um, it's it looks good when when you paint it and then put it put it over. This one, so I put yellow, which it was over the blue, which made it. Um, Shall we? Whoa! Leg! Calm down. Calm down, leg. Calm down. Let's mix it in here. Probably put a little bit of blue in there. Okay, so this is the green that I just mixed up. And You guys are gonna go straight there yeah it's just straight to my house okay yeah but make sure you guys don't go out anywhere yeah. you can get fined yeah i know we won't okay do you like this green so pretty Ooh. to my me i'm just just itching. <laughs> More green on the toes. Toes and the feet. And then I'm gonna bake it because basically no matter what color I put on it right now, it's gonna, it's just gonna blend and get muddy, especially using greens.
And then my Kermie kit, I really, I don't know, I keep on thinking about doing the creases really dark, like black. I know that I mentioned that at the beginning of the video, and I still feel like that's what I wanna do to make it super dramatic. I think I'm gonna do that. And I don't know if it's like better to do just like a long video and keep it live or to like split it up. I don't know, what do you guys think? Cause I'm kind of new too with streaming a lot, just in general. Um, and I, I don't know if it's, for me, I love doing the lives, but then at the same time, I don't know if it's like, what is too long? You know what I mean? Maybe you guys can give me some, some insight. Some insight on that. Let's see. Love the green has a little alien. I'm going to paint as a turtle. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Taylor. Welcome. Your baby. So now I'm making a sparkly pixie baby. Thanks for making the lives of these great. Pick me up. Aw, thank you. I, that's like literally. I was just wondering that. I was like, uh, is this like we are painting with you? Okay, yay. Because I was like, I don't know. Because I know somebody that has. I mean, I know people that have YouTube channels, but like one specifically. Um, used to always say like your videos are too long they're so boring like nobody wants to watch them just make two minute videos and stuff and I thought if I if I can't enjoy it then why do it why not if I can't enjoy it yeah then why why do it right you have to have enjoyment and I'm just a very long-winded person it's just the way I was born okay take a drink of my green slime It's so yummy. And then I'm going to run out soon and then I'm going to cry. <laughs> like, no. My Italian photos. Whatever will I do. I love when you can build the color and it just starts getting super vibrant. But it is important to bake it as well to get that vibrance. Lock the color in, cure the paint, and then start again. Or or have color or have paint over it. You could do it both ways. I'm enjoying the company while I paint too. Yay, we're all painting. <laughs> That's awesome. Gosh, I have been getting bombarded from the teachers though. Excuse me, and I have the hiccups. Oh, don't have the hiccups. Please don't have, please, please don't have the hiccups. Um, uh, yeah, like literally photographing my newest creation, Reborn Daddy. Ugh, it's the part that I don't like. I don't like taking pictures. I never really have either. It's just something that I never really enjoy doing. And you can you can tell I have been really slacking as far as pictures go too. It's like, you know, I just do it for my iPhone. Where before, I mean, the pictures look so good when, when you, uh, do it from like a really nice camera but the iPhones are just so crazy now it's like I'm gonna use this one and like what they do like the 3d and the portrait and I mean it's just so nice that pretty much just do that And if you don't like something as well when you're painting and then say um, it's, look at, see, I just got glue on my finger. Uh, you It's too dark or you don't like it. Don't, don't forget that everything is fixable. As long as you don't bake it, although even if you do bake it, 
you can strip it if you wanted to, but I've never stripped a doll ever. Um, so you can, there's that, but remember that you can be adventurous and you don't have to worry about ruining your doll. Cause I know a lot of people get nervous using really vibrant color and, but don't be nervous. Everything is correctable. Mostly everything. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> but yeah, and like I said about the muddy, the muddiness will start happening. So then I'm going to bake it after I do this. I'm going to add might as well to this part I do like to darken up on the inside of the eyes. It just makes the eyes so much more vibrant. And I also paint eyelashes a lot, which is another reason why I do that. Yeah, I figured because uh, 20, let's see, you find the 26 more for your, uh, oh, um, those, I got them off of Etsy, and so if you just put in 26 millimeter, you, they'll have all kinds of eyes on, on Etsy. Um, shoot, I was, I forget. Oh, yeah, wait. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, shoot, I was like, I'm gonna make this baby for Rose for the contest, and then it's not happening, happening, but I still want to, I still wanna like make it because I really love the idea. And no, those contests are not fixed. <laughs> There's, people vote on them, like everybody, everybody votes like it's a people's choice what the heck did I just do right there little one let me just get that for you you're welcome How did I manage to do that twice? Oh yeah, because I never learned, that's why. Oh gosh, this kit though is so freaking cute. Yeah, so for the big eyes, if you just go to uh, Etsy, put in the 26 millimeter, you'll have lots of options. Unfortunately, the pur the purple ones, the purple eyes that I have in tank, 
Uh, those ones I could not find again. I Their shop stopped, like it said that they were taking a long break or something, and then uh, I tried emailing them, but they didn't get back to me. Because a lot of people were like, oh, where did you get the, the purple eyes? And then I was like, no, no. looking very green <laughs> which is what I was trying to accomplish I have to bake this baby now time to get baked oh <laughs> you're too young it's 21 here okay I'm back. It sounded like I was yelling at my dog, but she's so deaf. Like she, you have to, like even last night I, I went up, well halfway up the stairs and then she wasn't with me and I was like turning off the lights and then I was like, I was like, Twyla, 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 like yelling for her on the steps and she's just like on the couch. <laughs> and then I'm like, Twyla, and then she's like, oh, being called okay and my big dog asked to go outside but Twyla doesn't ask to go outside so when uh, boundary has to go out then we make Twyla go out too so I'm like Twyla go outside go outside go outside go out, until she finally hears me jeez okay so I'm gonna do some creases like I said on before like I said on before <laughs> uh, let's see I don't know I think it would be fun to have them like really dark like really should I I don't know I'm, I'm like do I don't do I don't I um, let's see newborns had a fun for me Should send pictures to my phone ah gonna I'm doing nail tips oh boo I hate that part too yeah the iPhone takes really good pictures so that Janus kit by Carolla Regiwich that has like the two faces apparently they broke the mold and they're not gonna be she can't get it uh, yeah she can't get it produced again Cause that was the first one that I was painting with those paints and then people were like, Oh, where'd you, or where'd you get that kit? I want to get that kit. And then I was like, Oh, then I asked Brenda 
from McPherson's, and then, yeah, she was like, oh, unfortunately, that is not going to work. Shall we put some, I love you too. I love all of you for hanging out with me. It's the Pegasus Black. Let me stir this one up too. it just satisfies my artistic senses yeah it does i am so satisfied right now <laughs> the satisfaction is enormous right now do you feel it <laughs> oh boy Ooh, it looks like universe it looks like it's like it's uh the sky I need it more dark though. Is banana bread gone? Better not be. I didn't even have any yet. Is it? I'm making this very dark because it's four creases. And I feel like if it's too washy, it just doesn't, um, oh my God, when you mix the black in here, it is like, oh, Twyla wants in. Oh, it's all burning. You're just so pretty. You're just so pretty. Oh. How come I only have, oh, just kidding. Here's the other one. Let's put this. Just like so. <laughs> okay, let me see. Let me see how this this does. Yes. Boy, those kids need to go out and play in the yard or something. I made home homemade mac and cheese the other day, except with uh, shells, shell noodles. And I must say it was friggin delicious. The first batch was eaten like instantly. I like it with the black. Cause I'm gonna do the creases black and then I'm gonna add a lot more fantasy color it's like really gonna make it all those bright colors pop like pop like a weasel like a wee how does that go all the way around the mulberry bush the monkey chased the weasel the monkey thought it was all in fun and pop goes the weasel yeah I'm liking the dark I'm liking I'm liking the dark creases so if you guys decide to do dark creases, I would recommend with the Pegasus or if you just want dark creases and then you can bake it and then put the Pegasus, uh, which is from the F uh, Fantasy FX paints. Um, so if you, you can either uh, mix it with black and do it that way, or you can paint it black, bake it, and then put the Pegasus over. Because you can take the Pegasus out of just right out of the jar and use it because I've done that as well. But I'm telling, there's so much more sparkly in person. So. And everybody likes sparkles, right? Oh. 
I do. I can't wait till the character comes out. They drew a character after me. Holding an Italian soda. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not holding an Italian soda, but I feel like that would be appropriate if I was. <laughs> Better than a vodka bottle. <laughs> Unless the vodka's in the Italian soda, <laughs> which is a possibility. Just kidding. I actually don't drink vodka. It upsets my stomach way too much. I'm, I'm more of a, a whiskey girl. I like it. Good call, Bean. Good call. Gosh, I feel, man, the people prepping for the doll show, oof. But even Monster Palooza was, was canceled. I heard, okay, so I did hear today that there isn't many people in Japan or like Japan hasn't been, and compared to how many people they have too, you would think it would be like running rapid over there. Rapid, 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 rapidly rapid. And, uh, but apparently it's not. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I kind of don't believe a lot of stuff that I hear and see. Ooh. Like it. Oh, my chair just bent back. Okay. Oh, I was hoping you could see. Can sort of. I told Phoenix that I would make him some candied, candied uh, apple and oranges because he's really big into SAMR, SMR, SAMR, S, yeah, SAMR. And he's been making videos and I was like, well, just make one and then I'll just put it up on my channel. <laughs> give them something to do. Do you think everybody's going to break the internet though? Like so many people are using it, using the internet now that they're home, you know, it's like, and then people are like, I'm just going to ramp up my, my YouTube and my Facebook, my Facebook live. It's like how, how much, I, like, I don't even really know a lot about that kind of stuff but I mean can it can that happen can it oh yeah and then also I was they were talking about that 5g but you know they're all conspiracies so I don't know I don't know I just try not to think about it too much Actually, really, really like the black. Yeah, these kits too, so everybody knows if I didn't answer the question earlier, you can get from uh, McPherson's. It's a Cindy Musgrove kit, Jolly and Jingle, I believe that they're called. One has like a really sad face and then I got this one. 
I am going to do the other one too eventually, but I want to chip away at some, some of my, my kits first. It just blows my mind that sculptors get clay and do that and boom, a baby sculpted. I mean, I'm pretty sure it takes more effort than just going, but you get it. You understand. <laughs> it's like, whoa. And the kits are so different from when, from what they used to be, from even from when I first started. Like there's so much more, there's kits that are so much more uh, expressive. They never used to have big expressions. And I used to hunt all the time for, for kits with, that were like open mouths or like smiling or yawning or whatever. And it was really, it's like every so often one would come out and then I would basically just have to get that kit because it was the only one at the time. But now you see it more and more. And then with the fantasy kits, they're really hitting the market now. Which is good. I mean, it gives us, it gives us more choices. And also, I mean, I'm glad that the sculptors are doing that because then they get to really think outside of the box. Like they get to, maybe they're just like really passionate about sculpting fantasy kids, but maybe they thought they wouldn't sell before or they wouldn't like do as well, which I, I don't really even know the numbers. Um, like I wonder how, like what the numbers are as far as people buying fantasy kits. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, the market is a lot bigger now, but it's still still quite new. Like there there's fantasy kits that are coming out that are extremely unique. I personally still like the ones with the baby faces or like the, at least the human-ish look. Cindy Musgrove is so good at doing chunky babies. It's these wrinkles. There's probably so many dolls for sale right now because of the doll show canceling. I haven't looked. Have you guys been looking? Just out of curiosity.
looking pretty fantastical oh my gosh now like the all the wrinkles Sunday Musgrove kit rosebud was my first rosebud oh yeah the little preemie that one's so cute Looky, looky. <laughs> I really love, like, if you guys get a chance to mix black in with the Pegasus black, it looks like outer space. And it goes on really nice. I was just looking at McPherson's the other night uh, at their silicone babies coming out. Lots. Creasing takes a long time. This one is like super creased. There's only so much creasing I can do because then my eyes go blurry. Like I'll stop for a minute and then I'll look and then I'll be like, whoa, everything's super blurry. in the hen then I'm gonna bake it and then I have to go because I have to make dinner soon ish <laughs> My, my lights keep on flickering. I hope we don't lose power. Oh, it just did it again. How awesome is that? Um, okay, well, I'm actually gonna go now though because my eyes are getting tired. Um, let's see. Um, so I use air dry paints. <laughs> I 
love you too. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go because I need to bake this baby or at the limbs at least. And then I might start a little bit later on the face and like this has so many creases in the body. Um, and then I'm going to bake it and then after I bake it, I'm going to start brightening it up probably with, um, I don't know exactly. I have to come back and kind of like look at it and decide, but I, cause I just don't like when it goes muddy. And besides that, I'm going to put a lot of the, uh, fantasy FX paints over my paint job. So then you can see what it, um, how vibrant it it can be and everything okay love you bean have a great night yeah thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i have been just enjoying you guys so much uh from my studio and i hope you learned something and i i tried to explain some some things to you so i hope you could pick up some tips and tricks and then um i guess my next live you can write down some questions and and ask me and hopefully i can can answer them for you but um you guys stay safe um you're welcome <laughs> uh stay safe stay inside uh wash your hands and um yeah i don't know what else to all that <laughs> but um Mwah, sending my love to you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!